गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग यस कैन यू हेयर मी यस आई कैन हेयर यू वंडरफुल 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 डिड यू मैनेज टू टेक दिस ट्रेड क्रैश 500 ट्रेड understand understand the analysis please did you understand the analysis yes uh yes i understand uh, that analyst but the problem with me is uh, yes the problem with me is uh what do you what what we call zo- uh, supply and demand zone yes uh, yes the uh, uh, supply and demand zone uh, i have big problems to to understand supply and demand zone okay 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 Can you see my chat? Yes, yes. I can see. You. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So, um when it comes to supply and demand, supply mm-hmm. supply is simply the last uh okay, let me just go to a to a blank space here so that I illustrate what I, I want to say. right what we call supply right <laughs> supply you always find it at the top at the top i'm referring to let's say the market was going down pushed down maybe retraced pushed down whatever 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 pushed down so this is a, a bearish market when it's giving like giving us lower highs and lower lows right So what we call what we call a supply what we call a supply is the last the last bullish candle before the bearish push the last bullish candle before the push down you find it somewhere around somewhere around this zone you find the supply there same as here before the market dropped and push all the all, and push all the way down like that you will find the supply there here you are most likely to find the supply so you find so many different supply zones uh, as the market will be moving uh, in as much as it will be in that downtrend Can you hear me? Right. So, yes, Mr. Mike. You can continue with me. Okay. So, I was just uh, explaining the concept of supply and demand to to Mr. Steve there. So, I was saying supply, you find it in a bearish market. When the market has been downtrending, it leaves what we call it creates supply zones. supply zones these are zones where sellers 
most of the sellers most of these uh, big sellers they sold impulsively from that zone that's that's why the market dropped so impulsively from the zone for example if we look at this at this market uh, let's say from 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 this from this top here right i just want to look at it from this from that lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low right so if we are looking at this structure here if we are looking at this structure right in you follow what i'm telling you that supply zones they are created as the market will be downtrending if we are in a way are downtrending that's where we find supply zones and a supply is the last bullish candle before the bearish push last bullish candle before the bearish push so here the last bullish candle was this one before the market went down last bullish candle here is this one right then it pushed pull back upon the pull back here before it continued going before it continued going where is my last bullish candle is this one last bullish candle before the bearish push is this one then here establish this law as it came back to establish this lower high where is my last bullish candle before the push down is this one those are my supply zones pushed it pushed all the way down right so these are my three supply zones currently right now for crash 500 so supply zones can be zones where one can actually get sell entries because remember what i said on the supply zones sellers that's where sellers they sold impulsively they sold uh they sold they they they, they took they took so many sales on that zone making price to drop so hard so impulsively like this that's why you see from every supply zone price drops so impulsively like here if you check this impulsive move it was caused by this supply zone from here we actually dropped as well from here we actually dropped so those these supply zones they are very significant zones you can use them as zones for when you want to enter when you want to enter let's say you want to enter sales let's say the market is going to touch your supply zone and sell you can enter your sell, your sell zones on the supply zones if ever you want to take profit you want to take profit for example right now we are in buys right if ever let's say we want our targets for our buys we can use supply zones as well for our targets for example this first supply i can use it as my first target once it breaks above i can use my second supply up until we reach to the third third supply at the top there so you can either use them as um supply zones you can either use them as for entry entries when it comes to sell sales or for exits when it comes to buys so the the opposite of supply zones is demand zones demand zones you find them when the market is uptrending when the market is uptrending when the market is uptrending it leaves and it creates what you call demand zones it leaves when when we don't have a bullish candle at the end of the trend but we have a hammer or pin how to draw okay uh you always need to mark the the bullish candle that hammer or pin it either has to be but if it has to be bullish it has to be a bullish hammer it has to be a bullish you if it, if it's a bullish hammer you just mark it it's still it's still a a, a valid supply zone it's still a valid supply zone so supply zones we use them either for sell entries or for buy exits either for sell entries or buy exits i hope i hope you can all hear me and i hope you can understand what i'm saying are we together are we are we all together yes 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 so that's that the, the the market the market the market it's 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 run by supply and demand supply and demand is what runs 
uh, the market. It's all about supply and demand. Where is supply? Where is demand? Uh, if ever we're, we're going up, it means demand is strong than uh, our demands are holding more than supply. Uh, if ever we're going down, it means our supply zones are holding more than demand. So it's just that that's the whole concept of of trading. If ever you're part of our focus mentorship, you realize that some of these things they are very very simple, they are very easy, and they are very predictable. Uh, even this current buy that we're in for Crash Five Hundred. Uh, it's actually a trade that I think I've been explaining the analysis for the past few days. I, I think I've been explaining. I started from the daily. I showed you guys that I, where, where, where I was explaining that the market, uh, it, 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 when, when, when we are downtrending, overall when we are downtrending, I explained that the market, when we are downtrending, it forms lower, lower highs and lower lows. And... And as it will be downtrending, the highs are not broken. It is the lows that are broken. So after breaking this low here, this is a full move from the lower high and breaking this lower low. That's from there to wherever it stops, that's a full move. So I said after every full move, for example, after managing to break this low and establishing a new law, after every full move, this is a full move, the market will always retrace before continuing continuing to make another full move another full move it will come to break the new law the new lower law and establish a new law then once that new law has been formed the market so long it wants to continue downtrending here if it comes and fails to break here it means we are still in an overall bearish market it will still continue and give us the full move that 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 we want the full move is a full move will be breaking this this law so full move one full move two full move three these retracements are simply retracements either to a fair value gap an order block a supply zone or any major level of resistance or any any fibonacci retracement so you you need to make sure that all the full moves you catch them and as well as the retracements you can also take advantage of the retracements you can also enter on retracements but Keeping in mind that the trend will still be bearish. For example, on Crash 500, I explained from the daily time frame that we overally, on the hour time frame, we are still in an overall bearish market. We are still in an overall bearish market, irregardless of any buying opportunities that, to, that we might have seen. Overally, overally, we are still in a major downward channel. Uh, let me just go to the daily and show you what I'm talking about. Let me just go to the daily. I hope you all understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand. So that's the whole that's the whole mechanics of, of 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 trading. That's the whole mechanics of how the market flows. The market flows in what we call order flow. Order flow, this is the concept that I'm talking to you about. Whereby we let's say we are downtrending, it has to it has to respect the highs and not break them and actually break the lows. That will be a downtrend. Then in, a, in an uptrend, it has to break it has to break the what? the highs and respect the lows and not break the lows. So that is just the opposite of a downtrending market. So that's 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 the whole mechanics. That's the whole mechanics. That's the whole mechanics of of trading. That's the whole mechanics of trading. Let me just go to the daily so that you see what I'm talking about. Let me just go to the daily time frame so that you see what I'm talking about.
So do you have any other question, sir? Do you have any other question? Do you have any other question that you might have? Any other question that you you have regarding uh, trading or regarding what we have spoken about so far? Any question? I have many questions. <laughs> you have many questions, sir. You can ask ask your questions, sir. Then I'll answer you. Ask your questions, sir. I'll answer you here, or I'll answer you on on your inbox there. But you can feel free to ask your your questions. You said something about Fibonacci. I didn't get anything. Okay. Fibonacci. Fibonacci is just there. The purpose of Fibonacci. If ever you were part of the full course mentorship, you, you will be knowing all these things. The purpose of Fibonacci is simply to show you how far the market is going to retrace. As I told you that the market doesn't move in a straight line. If ever, even if it's, it wants to go down. It won't go down in a straight line. It will be going down, giving you retracements, going down, giving you retracements, going down, and giving you retracements. So those retracements, how far they go, that's where we use Fibonacci. The purpose of Fibonacci is to show you how far the retracement might go, how deep the retracement might be, whether we are going up or we are going down. I hope... I hope you understand what I'm saying. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So, crash 500 now on the daily. I just wanted to show you the mechanics of what I'm trying to say. Me talking about... Uh, order flow me talking about the market respecting for example when we are going down when you are going down when we are pushing down right when we are going down we establish the law after establishing the law we expect the market to retrace so that retracement you can either use fibonacci you can use support and resistance you can use fair value gap you can use order blocks you can use supply and uh, supply zones for you to know how deep that retracement can go that's why you can also use uh, Fibonacci retracement. So the full move from there is from that retracement zone to breaking the previous law. Breaking the previous law is this one. After breaking this previous law and creating the new law, this is a full move from there to there. After every full move, we expect a retracement. That retracement, we don't expect it to break. Once, so once it breaks this previous law high, once it breaks this previous law high, we are now in a... In a we are now in, in the opposite. We are now in an upward market. So this is still a downward market. So long we don't break the lower highs. So long we don't break the lower highs. And we keep on breaking. We keep on breaking the lower lows. The lower low here was this one. Lower low, the full move was from that retracement up until we established a new law here. This is a full move. So from there, we expect the same thing, a retracement. A, that retracement, we don't expect it. We don't expect it to come and break this lower high. Once it breaks that lower high, we're now in, a, in an upward market.
Do you understand uh, what I'm trying to explain? Are, are we together? I hope we are together. So, I was saying, the market, it moves. It moves in this matrix that I'm actually telling you. These are things that you, very few people can, can tell you about the market. Very few people can tell you what I'm telling you. So, this crash 500, and I'll keep on explaining, and I'll, the reason why I, I don't want to switch instruments and go to a different instrument is if ever you haven't understood, it doesn't make sense. So I will make sure that you first understand what I'm trying to say here on Crash 500 before we look at a different instrument. So if we are downtrending, we establish lower lows. After establishing the lower low, we pull back. This pull back, we can either pull back into a resistance, fair value gap, order block, or supply zone. And we can also use our Fibonacci retracement to know and to see how far the retracement is going to go. For example, you touch point A is at the top, point B is the law that would have been created. The law that was created is, the, is this law here, this law here. So from this law, you realize that it retraced all the way into 50% Fibonacci, which is actually a golden zone when it comes to entries, which was actually beautiful. So that entry you could have entered based on Fibonacci retracement confirmation as well as Overall market structure is bearish number three uh, resistance. There was a resistance there. So all those confluences. So entering at 50%, entering at 50%, if ever you're part of the full cost mentorship, you 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 know you know you 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 you're supposed to know that once we enter at a retracement zone like 50%, our first target is zero percent, second target negative twenty-seven. If you check TP1, zero percent was reached, TP2 negative twenty-seven was reached before it even before it even retraced back so tp1 and tp2 are reached that that was actually a full move that is what i'm referring to as a full move once a full move has been established know that there is a higher chance for the market to pull back now and pull back and go up give us a retracement before continuing down so after a full move has been established get ready for buying opportunities which you will actually get using this counter trend that was facing down this counter trend that was facing down, you could have used it uh, for entering those counter buys to the upside. So these buys you could have entered. Ta your targets for the buys, you look for the resistance, uh, re previous resistance or previous fair value gap or previous supply to the left. Once you have identified all of that, so this one now, this one, it retraced all the way back to the previous lower high which was actually establishing a double top. A double top is actually also a good confirmation to enter. You could have entered based on this double top because the market is still bearish. So our full move from this double top, we expect the market to come and break these laws. So after breaking these laws, that was a full move from the top there up until the bottom here. From the top to the bottom, that was actually a full, full move. So if you check even this full move as it was going down, if you zoom in clearly, if you zoom in clearly, you realize that that full move as it was going down, the market was actually was actually showing and creating lower highs and lower lows in that full move all the way from the top there. Let me just show you. So this is the whole dynamics. This is the whole secret uh, when it comes to market structure, when it comes to how the market moves. So here, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. This is internal structure now that you are looking at. So after establishing this higher low, the market established this lower high. It's lower than this, this high here. It's lower than this high. So it's a lower high. So first sign was establishing this lower high. Establishing that lower high. After establishing that lower high, we went on lower low. Lower high. Lower low tested the same high we are still bearish lower low lower high we are still bearish lower low lower high lower low 
So you realize that in as much as that full move was happening, the market was obeying market structure. The market was obeying market structure in as much as that full move from that top up until it broke the bottom. So the point where the market starts to disobey market structure, that's when you start to, those are signs of showing you that we are now about to, 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 to start to go up. For example, here, the first sign here was when the market was, was, was establishing these higher lows. Higher low, higher low, broke this previous lower high. Higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. So this move from the bottom there to the top there, you could have gotten this entry either on smaller time frames, you could have entered based on smaller time frames, based on the shift in market structure on smaller time frames, or the break of this daily time frame trend line. This daily time, this was actually going to be a later entry, because if you got smaller time frames, you could you could have actually gotten a, a, an earlier entry from the bottom here. So you could have gotten this buy, and you realize that the market actually reached and tapped into the a resistance zone there, resistance zone. We know that the market is still overall bearish. Why is it still overall bearish? It never broke the previous lower high. Where is our previous major lower high? Our previous major lower high is this zone. It's this zone. The market never even broke that. So it's still obeying the rules of a bearish market structure. So it comes, breaks this. It breaks this law. It's still obeying our uh, rules of bearish market structure so here you could have gotten the sell there the top i showed you how to get it either there from the resistance or using this counter trend line or also looking at a shift in market structure internal market structure if you look at internal market structure once you see the shift you would have also entered those cells targeting the lows here as your first targets because you know that so long we are still obeying bearish market structure the market has to come all the way to the lows so for example, if we now look deeper, if we look at internal market structure, this is this was a higher low, higher high, right? Then from there we started to to, to create the market started started to create lower highs, lower highs, lower highs and lower lows. So already that was a sign. Lower high, this high is lower than that one. This high is lower than that one. That those are signs already to show you that now we are about to go down. Of which this counter trend line was also another confirmation as well so it it went all the way lower highs lower lows 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 then from there from there the market broke broke structure where did it break structure after remember what i said after after we take out the the major law here we expect the market to give us a retracement up before we continue all the way down with our overall bearish market structure, right? So, right now what I'm simply expecting is a retracement, a major retracement into, right now I can actually apply my Fibonacci from the top to the bottom. From the top to the bottom, I can apply my Fibonacci. So I can apply, this is my Fibonacci from the top to the bottom. So we can have a retracement either I can expect this thing to push all the way. 38.2, that's my first target when it comes to retracements. That's my first target. When it comes. So that's my first target. If ever it comes there and drops, it's okay. We'll take ourselves there on 38.2, right? We'll use a counter trend line for our entries as well. So if it comes to 30.2 and drops, it's okay. We would have made money with the buy and we'll make money with the sales. So the next level, it's 50%. Uh, then the third level, 61.8. Around those levels, that's where I'll be looking forward for. So first target, first zone that I'm expecting this buy to, to reach is 30.2. That's my first zone of, of, of retracements. When I'm looking for retracements, I expect them to pull back at least to the first target, which is 38.2. So 38.2 is my first target now for retracement. So what I now need now, 
you you can either for example this is a counter channel to the downside you can or someone can decide to wait for the break of this channel if you check the daily candle hasn't broken it hasn't fully broken this channel the daily candle hasn't fully broken this channel if you look at it this downward channel this daily candle it hasn't broken this channel so someone can wait for the break for the full break and the retest on the daily it's okay but that's, that's actually a later entry me as a smart trader and my team as smart traders what we do what we do what we do what we do is we we go to a lower time frame because already now we are expecting a retracement we're expecting this buy we're expecting this buy to happen we're expecting this buy to happen based on our experience and also based on uh based on on, on our skill on our level of skill so if you check four hour four hour remember what we want what we want is just a shift of a shift in internal market structure a shift in an in internal market structure i'm referring to if you check here this was a lower high lower low lower high lower low so lower high lower high here so already here you can actually see these are signs now these are now signs that we are about to shoot up why because if you check this 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 high here it's higher than this higher low here this law is higher than than this law so this is a higher law this is a, a lower law lower law higher law that's actually a shift now to show you that most probably we're about to shift the gears are about to change so already we could have gotten your entry there or wait for the break of the lower high where is the lower high the lower high is this level here this zone that i marked here that's a lower high that's a lower high that is a lower high so this lower high once it's broken once it's broken that's now a confirmation to say we're now going up and when we are now going up remember the target i showed you the target that i'm expecting i'm expecting the market to push all the way to uh 38.2 38.2 fibonacci 38.2 fibonacci i showed you so if ever you want my my settings i i, I, saw, I saw your question there you're asking for my settings for fibonacci those are things that uh, I, I only teach to students that are part of the mentorship because uh, it's actually information that is that is uh, so 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 dear to us so it's information that only students that are part of so this buy this buy I'm expecting this thing to push all the way all the way this is actually days if not weeks of holding days if not weeks of holding I'm actually expecting this buy to go and hold all the way. 38.2. If ever it fails to break 38.2, we'll have a counter channel to the upside. And the break of that counter channel can also give us selling opportunities to the downside. So for the settings, my guy, for the settings, you can simply simply uh uh so this is this is this is what this is this is the whole matrix. This is the whole matrix of the market. The reason why I have been giving you the, the, the crash 500 buy, buy signal, if you check for the past days, I've been giving the buy, even, even though the, some of the buys, they never went all the way, but they did give us some profit. Right now, the current trade that we're in is a buy, and we are still in profit. And I'm basing my analysis based on and remember what I said, mark my words, this buy is going to go. And the good part, I saved this video. This buy is going to go all the way to 38.2. Mark my words, this buy is going to go all the way to 38.2. This target that I just placed here, this is a, this is a short term target for, for people who just want maybe to take their profits now. But this buy is going to hold for a very long time. So the reason why I place this target here is because of the daily time frame. This can actually be a break on the daily time frame. Then the retest now on the daily, that's where we enter again buys. Then those ones know that we are going to hold and hold and hold and hold up until we reach the zones that I, I mentioned. So that is the whole matrix. This is the whole matrix of the market. Right now, we are currently in this trade. Once we close, once we close above once we close above this zone once we close above this zone we are scaling in more trades we close above yes 
I'm waiting for this retracement candle to retrace inside and close above. Once it closes inside, uh, for example, here, if you zoom in clearly, you will notice that we actually retraced this pullback. It actually pulled back into this fair value gap here. Fair value gap or imbalance, you can call it whatever you want. It pulled back there. So, broke, retested. You would have gotten another buy entries here on this is this is so powerful you could have gotten buy entries here on the fair value gap your stop loss just below the fair value gap same as here upon the break above this uh resistance which now will be able to support you can also scale in more buys there then we hold we hold we hold we hold all the way up until we reach that level so this is the whole matrix guys this is the whole matrix make sure you like the video make sure you share the video make sure you don't miss any single video as i'm unloading and revealing the matrix that is there behind the market thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking the video